Good morning, my friends and family. Muy buenos días. Miren lo que tengo aquí. Look what I have here. Some pollitos. I'm going to put them in my little baby barn and let them listen today to our really good story. Click, clack, moo. Cows that type. I also have click, clack, moo traducido en español. Click, clack, moo vacas, escritoras. This story was written by Doreen Cronin and illustrated by Betsy Lewin. And it's a great story for reading on a farm. Like my little ranchito. Click, clack, moo cows that type, vacas escritoras. Cows that type, vacas escritoras? Hmm. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, Moo, clickety clack, moo. Cows that type? Hmm? Vacas que saben teclar? At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click clack, moo. Click clack, moo. Clickety clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Oh, here's a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Las vacas. Hmm. Parece que las vacas están frías en la noche. It was bad enough that the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No leche hoy. <gasps> No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Oh, my. Vacas escritoras. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold, too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows, las vacas, hasta las gallinas tienen frío. Oh. Hmm. ¿Qué va a pasar? What's going to happen with this? The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs, no leche, no huevos. No eggs? cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Uh oh. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How could I run a farm with no huevos y no leche? No milk, no eggs. Farmer Brown was furious. Uh-oh. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown.
duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. I guess the patito con la cartita. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo all night long. Farmer Brown waited for the answer. I wonder what the answer will be. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Door. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door. We will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Good idea, cows. Vacas muy listas y inteligentes. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Uh-oh, the ducks have the typewriter. <laughs> Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. <laughs> And look what the ducks finally got. Farmer Brown capitulated. Ah, isn't that a great book to read on a farm? I miss you guys. Hope that you're at home reading some really great books. <laughs>